Welcome to prayer time. God has just been gracious to us. When we look all around us and we see all that is going on, and we are still standing, and we are still, we are still thriving, it says clearly to us that our God has been faithful. This morning I got a call uh, from, uh, um, no, I beg your pardon. I got a call, I think a few, um, not, not, not today, but someone was sharing their testimony. This time last week, they were just in a state because they were going through some things and they had called and they were so afraid and I had said, you know what? You are going to be fine. You are going to be all right. Don't fear. Take that fear out of you. Do not fear. And I get a call and they are saying, I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. Everything is okay. I didn't want to say, didn't I tell you not to fear? Our God is simply amazing. And when I said to us this week that you are relevant, you, you are relevant and therefore God cannot allow things to just happen to you anyhow. So first, I want us to just go ahead and give him thanks because there's so much that could have happened to you this week. But in his mercy and grace, he preserved you and he carried you through and you've come out, you, you, are, you are well, you are alive. Some things have fallen into place for you. Go ahead and thank him. And I want you to thank him too because today the lines are going to fall to you in pleasant places. Say, Father, I'm grateful, I'm thankful. Thank you because you are making the lies to fall for me in pleasant places. The lies are falling to me in pleasant places. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I appreciate you for your loving kindness, for your tender mercies, O oh God of heaven. Let your lines fall to me in pleasant places. Your li let the lines, O oh God of heaven, fall to me in pleasant places. I praise your holy name, Lord, because you have been so merciful, so gracious, so kind. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Lord, I ask of you today that the lines will fall to me in pleasant places. In Jesus' most precious name, we have given thanks. When the lies fall to you in pleasant places, it's a blessing. It is a blessing. The boundaries, when you are not set in a boundary where things are tight and where things are impenetrable, when you are not set in a boundary where you cannot get out and only evil is happening within those borders. You would have reason to celebrate. God does not want us to be limited in spaces and places where there is no breakthrough. He does not want us to be held captive in strongholds. On the contrary, God wants us to be in places where the lines around us are pleasant. Where the, 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 the place we find ourselves bring to us pleasantness and goodness. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is in me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The one who forgives all your iniquities and heals all your diseases. Pleasant lines. Pleasant lines of healing. Pleasant lines of forgiveness and justification. Father, let your lines fall to me in pleasant places. Go ahead and talk to the Lord. Let the lines fall to me, O God of heaven, in pleasant places. He has come that we may have life and have that life abundantly. Lines in pleasant places of abundance. 
There's somebody you are listening to me, you've been weeping, you are about to start to laugh. You know, Sarah said, God made me to laugh. <laughs> it's your turn. Reboche, the lines are about to shift in your favor and fall to you in pleasant places. Reboche, it was as if those lines were, they, they, they are ancient lines that have been there for a long time and they refused to budge, they refused to sh shift. It was as if you were, you, 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 you were straight jacketed into an immobile position. You are breaking loose right now in the name of Jesus. I see that straight jacket giving way. And you are breaking out to the left, to the right. You are no longer limited. Because God wants you to be relevant. Nothing can hold you ca captive anymore. That straight jacket is torn from you. Have you straight jacket been torn? Straight jacket been torn? That will take a supernatural intervention. Raman tok takatsakit because that straight jacket is it's like a metal enclosure but it is now just being ripped as if it were a piece of cloth. In the name of Jesus, somebody is getting it. Somebody Somebody is getting loose right now. Mok taka satuk taka hik taka lipro kanta kuru shinderek taka la praka breaking loose, breaking loose, breaking loose. Nindang tahima the lies are falling in pleasant places. Maraban santo lepro hima shik rehiba rigida galuk roho boko shanda la rehiba zigidi gilipro tahiba ka. Things are being moved around because of you. They are shifting. The lines are shifting. The boundaries are shifting. Rubo krahima kashtakura kashek tehiba zigada klahama krahim kandaruk tehiba. You know how you know you know how nations are demarcated by boundaries. And you know how many nations fight each other because the boundary limits them, prevents them from accessing the good in the soil of another nation. And sometimes the nations will, 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 will protest and say, no, you, we, you are part of us because they want access to that thing, that, 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 that resource that is in the ground of that other nation. So they will lay claim to it. And sometimes nations will, so some people in a nation will say, you know what, we are not part of you because they have found a resource and they know that that resource is enough to sustain them and they don't want to share with anybody. Now I want to announce to somebody that because of you, resource, boundary lines are shifting around you. I will give you a testimony that will help you. Many years ago, a sister, she had, the first time she walked into the church, we were ministering and I said, you know, and, and, and I, she, she had needed something and we prayed, we prayed for her. And so um, she went and later she came back and she said, you know, when I came, I needed a job and my state had stopped hiring. There was an embargo on hiring in my state. She said, but after that prayer, I went back home and the embargo was lifted. Do you know that the embargo was lifted? She applied for the job and immediately she was accepted. The embargo was placed back again. A state embargo on hiring. She's still working with the state till today. This must have been some 18, 19 years ago. The lines fell to her in pleasant places. <laughs> Marriage lines are going to fall to somebody in pleasant places. You've been long on this journey trying to get married. The lines are about to shift in your behalf. 
to pleasant places. Rabak to hobo shendere praha. Rikatuk tahi praha. Those lies that seem to be marked in the ground, they are now shifting, shifting. God is making space for you right now. Marobosh tekendere krahiba. Shaktahaba kale krahiba. There's somebody there. My prayer for you right now is that you will not miss the time of your visitation. As I was talking now, you were laughing. He said, here they come again. Here they come again. If you will repent right now, God is about to visit you. Because you are just about to miss the time of your visitation. I don't know why you are cynical. But if you will repent right now, it's specific to somebody. You thought it's a laughing matter. But God wants to have mercy on you right now. You will not miss the time of your visitation. There are some of us out there today. I want you to cry out to the Lord. Lord, please do not let me miss the time of my visitation. I'm ready. I'm ready for your blessing, Lord. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for your blessing, Lord. I don't want to miss the time of my visitation. Visit me with your goodness. Visit me with your power. Lord, that I may be relevant in my generation. Lord God, the things that I need to do, those things that you have given to me, help me, Lord God, to access them. Help me, Lord, give me the grace to do them that I may be relevant again in my generation. Rabba Shantala Prohima Kashik Lehiba Iraga Lord, I want to be relevant. I want to be relevant. Lord, the grace to be relevant, give to me. The resources that I need to help me to deploy that I may be relevant. Give them to me. Rabash, I surrender to you, O God. Give them to me, O God, those resources. Father, Lord, I thank you and I honor you. And I want to give you time right now. I don't know what it is that you are believing God for. While we talked during the week, you knew there were areas where you needed to be relevant. And I want you to just lift up your voice. I want to agree with you in prayer right now. Talk to the Lord and tell him, Lord, I want to be relevant. I want to be relevant. Go ahead and talk to him. And whatever else it is you are believing God for, go ahead and tell God because I want to join you. And I agree with you that God will bless you. That God will grant you your heart desire that your joy may be full. Go ahead, I'll give you a minute. And so, Father, I lift up all your children who are listening, all those who have joined me to, to pray today. And I pray for them in the name of Jesus. Whatever may be that need, O oh God, that you will visit them, that you will provide for them, that you will uphold them. Lord God, that you will answer them, that you will make their joy full supernaturally, O oh God, because that's who you are. Lord God, you are the God of all power, that your power will be deployed to do the, what they think is impossible in their life. Lord, you will bless them beyond their wildest expectation and you will do them good. Father, bless your people. And for that person there, you don't even know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. That's the prayer you need to pray first. Because you cannot have, you cannot have the goods without the owner of the goods. Jesus Christ is the one who makes you relevant, is the one who has the blessing. And when you have him, you have the blessing. So if you will confess your sins and say, Lord Jesus, I want you to become my Lord and personal Savior. I confess my sins right now. And I want to guarantee you, if you confess your sins, he will forgive you, no matter what they are. Even though your heart condemns you, even though people around you tell you that how wicked and bad you are, just confess your sin right now and Jesus will forgive you. God will forgive you. Wipe away those sins. And as you invite Jesus into your heart, he becomes your Lord and Savior and your life is transformed from today. He, you receive the peace of God and the joy of the Lord. Go ahead and pray. Father, for that person who is surrendering that life right now, who is confessing their sin, Lord, I ask that you will forgive that sin. You will, Lord God, wipe away the, 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 the sins from their life. And as they ask, I ask you into their heart, Lord, that you will come into that heart and become their Lord and personal Savior, that the joy and the peace of salvation will be theirs and that you will write their name in your book of life. Father, thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And so, Lord, also I pray for all your children that as they step into this weekend and look forward into a new week, 
Let your blessing pursue and overtake. Father, do according to that which they have requested and make the joy of your people full. Lord, we honor you and we receive your blessing. In Jesus' most precious name, amen and amen. God bless you real good. It's been wonderful as usual having you with me today. Again, it's Fumi Obilano, always with, the, with God's good news to you and a hope pure. Your tomorrow is going to be better in Jesus' name. It's Fumi Obilano and it's Reflections. <music>